unredacted tax returns have been leaked to Politico, revealing the identity of donors to Nikki Haley's nonprofit group Stand for America. Just the latest example, folks, of the IRS targeting weaponizing against conservatives and intimidating GOP donors. Joining me now is the former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations and f founder of Stand for America, Nikki Haley, also my former governor of South Carolina. I won't say Nikki because we're friends, but I'll say governor ambassador. This is a really scary story. Tell us how this all went down. Eric, it really is. And, and I'll tell you, this wasn't the IRS. What happened is we basically, you know, as a policy advocacy organization, we have to file a tax return um, like so many do. And those tax returns of policy advocacy organizations are private. The donors are private. We have a political organization that has hundreds of thousands of donors, and we, we publicize those because that's the law. So um, all of a sudden, we get contacted by a news organization saying that they have our tax return mm -hmm. and all of the donors and that they're going to go report it. When we get a copy of the tax return to see where they got it from, the last page has printed on it, New York State Attorney General's Office. So the New York State Attorney General leaked our tax return to a news outlet in order to intimidate conservatives. And this is what I'll say. You never hear about the ACLU's tax return leaked. You never hear about Planned Parenthood's tax return leaked. But yet they turn around and do this. And I have said for too long, that Republicans are too nice. Yeah. They can't whine, can't complain about this. We have to do something. So we are. We are suing the New York State Attorney General. Um, yep. And then we are also calling out Attorney General Merrick Garland, asking for an investigation on the New York State Attorney General, because this is a violation, Eric, of state tax law and a violation of federal tax law. And, and, and more so proof, what Governor, I will more proof that they are weaponizing these agencies uh, against conservatives. I mean, w w did they do this to Planned Parenthood? Did they do this to, I don't know, the ACLU? Have that their donors been leaked? Or the Sierra Club? No. Conservatives, your group did. And you know why? Because we call things out like we see it. We call out Joe Biden. We call out Nancy Pelosi. We call out Gavin Newsom. We say, why are you taking money from people who didn't go to college and giving it to those who did? Why are you going and trying to basically, you know, tell our children what they need to be thinking behind the backs of our parents. Why are you allowing lawlessness on the border? We call things out and we give solutions. And I will tell you, I'm calling on every conservative. If you are tired of the weaponizing of government, if you're tired of what this New York State Attorney General has done to President Trump, has done to the NRA, has done to pro-life organizations, unite with us and go to StandForAmerica.com and let's finish this. Let's finish this once and for all. Because Republicans being too nice is what's gotten us into this. Us fighting back yep. and us saying we're not going to put up with it, that's when we're going to get it to stop. Governor, I just have about 30 seconds or so. Tell us, uh, Letitia James, she's the New York Attorney General. Um, there's a lawsuit. I mean, this is the same woman who said before she was elected in 2018, she was going to go after President Trump before she was even elected the Attorney General. So final thought, what's your message to Attorney General Letitia James in New York? What I'm telling you is, look, you started this. Don't mess with me. I ask everybody else to join us. Go to StandForAmerica.com. Let's teach her a lesson. Let's teach the New York State Attorney General's office that you can't continue to intimidate conservatives because we can't be intimidated, and we'll show you why. There you go, Governor, Ambassador, Nikki, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Eric.